Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone uh, I am Yunita Alvina And I'm from the class 4D English Education Department Of UIN Suskariau And this video I want to tell you About our material today Is uh, Strategies for Classroom Management And So let's stay the time to watch this video okay the first slide is the key ideas in this capture your proactive appreciative classroom management will affect your students performance implementing the right strategies will make the difference between a learner friendly classroom and a dis organize classroom uh, the first strategy is create an effective learning environment Apart, according Benjamin Franklin said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure this particular true of a teacher actions during the first week of school what to do the first week of school the first is preparation we can arrange the room to facilitate your proximity the student and your mob mobility and the next is be, be pre prepared you do not yet know your students' abilities and behaviors, so have alternative and backup activities ready. And the second is climate setting. Greet students at the classroom door and tell them <coughs> and tell them what to do what to do when they enter the classroom. For example, when they want, on day one, introduce yourself, ask their names, and assign their seats. On day two, greet students by name whenever possible, and indicate they are to do the one minute assignment. You have written on the board as soon as they get to their seat. And the next is teach subject content from day one keep lesson focused and doable for the length of the class clearly communi com communicate learning objectives give simple instruction and stru structure lesson to ac ac accommodate a students knowledge and skill and the next is and class with a routine that summarizes the day a complement complacement reminds student what they need to do prepare for the next day ensures material are put away and leave the room clean and the third is a create community establishing cooperative learning groups give tips for working as a group and practice group work by accomplishing needed task the fourth uh, of create an effective learning environment is establishing classroom roles teachers are ultimately responsible for classroom roles and the roles is identify identify specific expectation for general behaviors and the next is have consequences and the last is must make sense to both receiver and enforcer Okay, let's we move to second strategies. Establishing classroom procedure. 
classroom procedures communicate how to daily activities teach and model procedures until they are routine according to Peace Corp from South Africa teach procedures for routines in the classroom so that the environment is predictable and well structured now for example the first is have students sit at their desk or in their group the second is point to post-it assignment and state instruction and the next is the test understanding by asking students like the like uh, like as what is the first step or what are you supposed to do now okay let's we move to the third strategy the third strategy is create a motivational environment the following classroom conditions and strategies will help create a classroom climate that encourage learning okay for the first is teach to different learning styles for example write keywords on the board or use a diagram or visual and so on and the next is make learning intrinsically interesting by release relating lesson content to the student life and local environment for example make connection between the lesson and the local current event or common life experience region and the third is develop lesson at a level that challenge challenges student but it's not too difficult or confusing okay we move to uh, the fourth strategy make every minute count okay to make time maximize learning and teaching time you can plan each lesson in advance and the second is write learning objective and the last is divide your board into three sections so we move to the five strategies strategies five keep everyone everyone engaged okay ideas to encourage all pupils to think the first is ask a question wait three, wait three to five second or wait time then call on a student the next is use the a call technique one student uh, give an answer and you call on another student to repeat it the next is praise correct answer for example you you can say it's great thinking outstanding well done shows teacher belief that it is a successful learner and the last is from student thinking strategy six teach life skills and good learning habits okay here are some ideas for making a special effort, effort to teach life skill the first is take advantage of teaching moments to reinforce life skill for example remain student if everyone if if everyone help to clean the classroom we can go to lunch early or we have five books 
and ten students. How can we share the family? Okay, the second is create li create life skill ticket. Okay, the strategy seven is be creative. Here are a few ideas and resources to get your study started. The first is use space corp and local resources. Order or download material listed in the ICE catalog. Search the internet to find resources uh, such as pictures, map, activities, ideas, art, and craft instruction and free downloadable materials. And the next is use limited written materials and make or find other teaching material or you can create writing surface. Let's we move to strategy the last strategy. And the last strategy is use project design and management technique. Think of classroom management as a project design and management challenge. Here are the steps you and your college would take to create and management a project applied to classroom management. The step one is identify the strength and need that currently exists to facilitate teaching and learning. Step two, formulate a vision of what the ideal classroom would look like. Step three, collaborate with others to explore alternative way to achieve the vision. Step four, prepare a classroom management plan. The, there is a blank format of a planning guide using used in PS Corp or China and PS Corp or Jordan at the end of this chapter. Step 5 is monitor the classroom management plan to determine if it is being consistently followed and make adjustment as needed. The step 6 is evaluate to determine determine if the plane is achieving the desired vision. There is a simple sample classroom report at the end of this chapter. That is a useful evaluation tools. And the last step is celebrate successes with your student. Okay guys, thanks for your attention and see you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.